So we said I to take interviews of uh, various students mm-hmm. who are aspiring to get into our media department. Mm-hmm. So what do you exactly look in for those students and what kind of interviewer are you? So we always had very interesting uh, observations whilst we are taking interviews of in undergrad students and even master students and some of the reflections I would like to make it here like uh, when you are coming up for an interview please be very uh, careful that you are uh, professionally dressed like don't take the interview very casually because sometimes it has been observed that students are very overconfident and they take it in a very casual way and that get represented in their body language or even in their attire. Um, having said that, uh, a professional attire is important and not too overly dressed also and also not uh, in a very casual like jeans or a t-shirt. So that is one thing which is very important for an interview because that also uh, gets reflected how much seriously you are taking this interview. Maybe you have so- you, are, you are sound carrying sound knowledge in a subject matter but um, the idea is to also see how much open you are to learning how much open you are to even our learning and the very first moment we see you in the interview uh, and you know how impression uh, how different uh, ideas may get created in the interviewer's uh, head because of uh, how you are taking that interview either in a serious way or in a casual way so that is the first uh, suggestion I will have for the aspirants. And second is to be very confident. Like uh, it's uh, it's completely understandable. Like as an individual, as a student, we will not be aware about each and everything about uh, social sciences and humanities. So be very honest to your interviewer that this is the part I know and this is the part I don't know. And I will get back to you if you don't mind. You can share the email address and I can write back to you and. I, I will read up about that matter and I will write back to you. So be very honest about that journey. And the third thing is also we always see that how much uh, balance you can bring in your life because in, when a Christ like uh, students are expected not only to go very academically inclined but also you can have a understanding about how to serve the community like definitely you are serving the community the students community by being a good student but the role of an academic the role of a student and especially in social science humanities it the buck doesn't stop there so you have to also maneuver yourself in a place where you can think about larger concepts around serving the community uh, going back giving back to the community so you have to be open to the ideas of internship opportunities where the learnings will be in the community spaces not in a uh, kind of a desk job internship and along with internship you also have to be open to the idea that in your three years of your undergrad curriculum and even in your two years of a uh, master's curriculum there will be a lot of field work like there are projects which are very field work driven and at that time you will be encouraged to uh, uh, take the public transport rather than you know you commute in a pi- private transport uh, so that is the whole idea to kind of uh, understand how much privileged one is coming back from like suppose if you are not using the public transport on a daily basis so it may be considered i'm not passing any generalized statement but it will be considered that you may come from a very privileged background and to get to know the other worldview, it is very important to commute in a public transport. So this is just one example I'm giving you when you come to speak about community development work. So yeah, so these are the three things which one needs to keep in mind, like how much flexible you are in unlearning and uh, and learning new things, how much flexible you are in adapting yourself in newer culture, because many a time students come from different cultural backgrounds, maybe from a more conservative family or maybe from a uh, ultra conservative family and maybe from a, a background where people uh, the students might not have seen so much of cultural diversity also so that may overwhelm in the initial phases but the beauty of Christ is like everyone is being treated equally right like as the constitution says like irrespective of whether you are a rich individual or whether you are a poor one the constitution doesn't make any difference difference so similarly in Christ also the faculty members the management will not make any difference of opinions or views based on your uh, background but what is important for you is to adapt yourself into the new culture where you are more into the giving part. Learning is one side of it and also how you are giving back to the community. So that is one thing which we really wish to see in your 
uh, interview in your presentation that how you are planning to give back to the society give back to the community so i think that is in nutshell i would like to uh, summarize my response to this particular question all right thank you so much for that because you know uh, being in a particular formal dress code being very confident about what you are answering and even you know if you don't know any answer don't say any lie you are safe to say that you know you will get back to us and all of that and uh, thirdly as you pointed out that everything you do except for the you know uh, maybe outside the academic route as well you have to show in some case or the other how you want to uh, give back to the community how selfless you are in nature and you know maybe doing an internship with some ngos or something like that those could be some of the instances or maybe uh, within your community as well within your locality something like that you can just demonstrate so it adds value okay so as you take interviews of both undergraduate and masters students so what is the particular difference and how should the students prepare i think um with regard to the admission process the details are already being sent to your email address like the different stages of the uh, admission process like there will be a written test followed by a interview so that is very similar in undergrad and masters also uh but there are certain expectations we have from undergrad students vis-a-vis -vis master students especially during the interview which i would like to focus upon because uh for a masters interview we at least expect that the students have uh, a sound knowledge on the subject matter because you have taken the decision of take of uh, opting for a higher studies program right so so we expect that you at least have a sound knowledge you at least have the clarity on what you wish to do in this two years of the masters program so that is what the expectation we have from the master students in terms of skills in terms of knowledge you will get two years to build on it but at least the uh, expertise to further maneuver yourself in this space for two years so this is what also we wish to see in the during the interview journey for a master student for our undergrad again uh, we may not see see into too much of subject matter expertise but again we see into the part where the students will be able to adapt into this new situation because many a time there are outstation candidates away from the family uh, maybe for almost for weeks they may not get a chance to meet their family so it could be difficult at times especially if someone is coming out from their hometown or from their family for the very first time so we do need to take we do take into consideration of those aspects also like how you will be uh, uh, adapting into this new situation it's not like if you are really homesick and you cannot uh, go back home or you cannot uh, meet your parents but then attendance is also a very important criteria here because we expect at least students maintain 85% attendance right so that aspect is also needs to be taken into consideration while you are preparing for the interview that uh, the faculty members should get a larger idea that yes you will be dedicated for next 3 years or 2 years and unless there are emergency situations and unless there are health issues which will definitely as a management will take into consideration there only you feel like taking a break otherwise you will have internship breaks you will have holidays like you will have almost 12 days of christmas break new year break so there you can always uh, refresh yourself you can always recharge your batteries right but otherwise very seldom you may get a break so don't get demotivated that you will may not get breaks as maybe your other batchmates are getting in other universities but that will also help you to build your personality your build your larger overview of life so i think in again uh, these are the things which we really look forward to see in an undergrad student and in a master student and uh, most importantly like be very confident about why do you wish to pursue this program this is the first question we ask to an undergrad student as well as a master student like why uh, among so many programs in india in world why do you wish to come to christ why do you wish to apply for undergrad uh, Uh, in journalism english psychology or in communication english psychology or in masters why advertisement and corporate communication or why multimedia journalism so that you should definitely think over and you have to really convince the uh, interviewers because we do get a large pool of applications right so it becomes very challenging for us also to uh, select a ha hand, uh, handful of students from that large 
pool of students because we do get very good students we do get very uh, motivated students but what matters the most how you convince them that you are really looking forward to study here and these are the reasons why you are looking forward to study so though if you have a clarity on that i think that makes the uh, job of the interviewer quite easy so i think this is what all i have to say in this context definitely if the students are very well clear about their purpose and they know their why as to why they are you know choosing this particular course and coming to kshaist university so if that they are able to express well and they have clarity on their uh, themselves as well th- that eventually makes the job very easy so some more examples about you know what are the common questions that you ask and uh, what are some of the topics maybe for my two presentation that would be really helpful so this thing i forgot to add about prepare about you being prepared first and foremost thing we ask have you gone through the syllabus of that co uh, program you have applying for and many a time it's very sad and unfortunate to hear that students they say no we i didn't get the time or i didn't know that there is a syllabus also which exists on the website so that actually creates a very bad impression uh, maybe the student is very well read person or maybe the student is a very motivated person self motivated but still the moment you say that you didn't go through the syllabus so then it kind of uh, creates a uh, difficult perception about you in the interviewer said so please uh, it's an honest request uh, whenever you are applying for a program at christ or even in life in general in other universities go through the syllabus and see what are the expectations you have Uh, from that syllabus and which are the courses you are really looking forward to study and learn and which are the courses you may be a bit afraid of because there are courses like media research where it may ask you to read some certain areas of statistics like where quantitative techniques are being taught so some people are not so good with numbers they could be afraid with numbers but when they see the syllabus they know that that is only not one subject which it exists there are other subjects which they could be more comfortable and passionate about and they can maneuver themselves there in a better way so i think this uh, reflections are very important a reflection about the syllabus and the second thing is when it comes to micro presentation and the viva uh, being honest to yourself uh, being very clear in your head like there will be may many times when the interviewer may try to confuse you by saying that uh, why only christ why not any other institution you have very good marks you have distinction overall but why only christ and i have heard students like last week only i was conducting where people say that i want to come down to bangalore so bangalore is not the enough reason for coming down to christ because maybe there is a perception of bangalore which exists outside karnataka or outside bangalore that bangalore is a uh, uh, is a tier 1 city it gives you a lot of opportunities the weather is good social life is very good like one could do easy socialization in different pockets in bangalore but that is not strong enough to come down to christ so ask yourself that why you really wish to uh, come down to christ and why this program and these are the questions you should ask yourself and you should get answers from the observations you should make the observations check the uh, profiles of the alumni like what they are doing in their lives right now because that is also very important because tomorrow you may get certain ideas from the way they have explored their journey after the undergrad program and after the masters program so check the syllabus check the profiles of the alumni check the profiles of the faculty members because they will be spending a lot of time with you in the 3 years and the 2 years program because this will be a second home literally i am saying that like you will be spending more time here at christ and uh, less time at home i'm not trying to scare you but that's how you also uh, become very comfortable with the space you may, you will look forward to spend more time in this space so that's why you will be spending more time with your faculty members also so see their profile the kind of teaching they are doing the kind of research work they are doing and then uh, it becomes very easy for an interviewer to understand okay these are your interest areas and you had done this homework you have read the syllabus you have read the profiles of the alumni you have read the profiles of the faculty members so then it means that you are really motivated to come down to christ just not to bangalore per se but christ even if tomorrow christ moves from bangalore to any other place but still you want to continue that so that is i think how i would like to answer to this question yeah the sir has really covered you know most of the points and focusing on that aspect that research is very important before you apply to try or even any other university for that yeah. matter because if you're not aware as to what is the course curriculum and you know you don't know about the 
faculty or maybe the alumni what they have been doing after studying your course so that doesn't you know leave a good impression because you must have that knowledge before selecting and going to a particular university so sir what would be your overall advice for the students in terms of you know any other uh, evaluation criteria or maybe you know answer asking them kind of questions or what would you just tell to them to take care of i think um, we are in a very fast moving world so i would sincerely request each and every student and each and every individual to take care of their health Uh, because uh, somewhere we don't prioritize our physical health our mental health our emotional health and if there is no health uh, proper health it will be very difficult to maneuver yourself in any uh, life be it personal life or be it professional life or be it student life in this context so please make sure throughout this journey you take care of your physical health you take care of your mental health you take care of your emotional health. that is the first and foremost sincere request i would I uh, have for each one of you and the second thing uh, there would be hurdles in life life is never a bed of roses um, there would be challenges there will be set up setbacks so don't get demotivated don't get uh, don't give it up like uh, try to uh, come back to that situation try to do that again from a different perspective maybe from a different standpoint from a different tool from a different uh, skill and and try to find out answers of that setback uh, ask yourself ask your batchmates ask your peers and many time peer learning also helps a lot because sometimes we think that we know answers of every questions which are not in life there are a lot of answers uh, which we get from other members of our community and in this context peer learning is very important learn from your batchmates learn from your uh, internship mentors learn from your professors as as i was saying some time back like we also learn a lot of as aspects of uh, one's life from students so so the first thing is uh, taking care of your physical health uh, mental health emotional health and second thing is like uh, never give up in life uh, it could be challenging uh, it could be difficult at times but uh, make sure that you are uh, maintaining the level of perseverance which Uh, you really wish to make sure that you want to get the work done so that kind of level of perseverance and and the third thing is be patient like it, the saying is always go like when we sow seeds it takes time to see the the seeds uh, transforming into a sapling and then to a plant and maybe into a tree right so it doesn't happen overnight so what you are investing right now in first year of your undergrad or first year of your masters the results will come eventually so don't rush that i want immediate results or i want instant results there is um, unfortunately the world runs on instant results the world runs on immediate results like because of the kind of social media proliferation has happened in the last several years so don't look out for instant results be patient uh, be uh, uh, thoughtful and just wait for the time when things will work on your behalf it will just take some time so these are the three things i would sincerely ask you to maintain the one is your health second is the uh, idea of never giving up in life and the third thing is be very patient and uh, maintain a certain uh, calmness in your life that don't get uh, uh, rushed because the things is moving very fast but you don't get rushed make sure the inner calmness is getting reflected outside so that the others around you also feel equally attracted toward you because if you send positive energy if you send positive vibes and if you're transparent if you're transmitting a, a constructive idea toward life so others will also get attracted toward you and people will be more helpful in that journey so these are the three things which i would really wish that you can uh, look forward to maintain in your life not only in student life but in so in the professional life definitely and these are some surely surely wonderful tips because you know it eventually takes time and it gradually happens to create an impact that you want to so thank you so much sir and i really hope that our viewers have got enough points in order to you know uh, take care of those things and not only while their admission process in christ but about life in general as well and enough points to even impress you as an interviewer as well so thank you so much and it was wonderful to have a great conversation with you thank you thank you so much and i wish you all the best please do well and again as i said please take care of yourself and i can't wait to see you in the department i can't wait to see you in this lovely campus thank you thank you so much